everyone and welcome today to Maggie's Corner. So it's in the morning right now, I'm getting ready to work. Um, started already with this little red concealer, as you can see it, I have it here covering, um, trying to cover some of the dark spots and see if it works more. I'm going to go ahead and now go ahead and go in with my yellow concealer that seems to be doing the work more. This is from LA Pro, looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and start covering up the spots that need to be covered. And this brush works really great. Hyperpigmentation around the mouth. We're gonna go ahead and hyperpigment around here. And then I have spots here. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the spots. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some under the dark spots as well. And then what I'm gonna also go ahead and do is go in with some of this right here to help the mixture. It's not letting me to work, but I go ahead and the best way that I'm working this is with my hand and I'm going to just tap gently. It's just, it lasts better. It stays in place better. When you put the red, just make sure you spread it out enough. And I'm just dabbing, 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 dabbing. Dabbing, 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 dabbing some more. And there we go. Now for the, I'm gonna go ahead and put some right here. For the dark spots that I have. My other life, I was not Hispanic from the way I have such dark spots going on. And I am going to just go ahead and dab away as well. And I'm just going to go like this. For now, I'll go ahead and start blending gently. Okay, this mark is the one that I'm trying to mark because it refuses to, so I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit right there. And this one right here as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And the way I do it is I just dab two, three, four, like that. And this is in Sun Beige 106. And I like to put it on my eyes as well. This is a good way to put it a bit on my eyebrows. And on the forehead, I will stretch it and spread it. And then I'll go ahead and go with some more here. And right here in the pommel area. So it looks like it covered it up as best as it could. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that seems to be happening up. The next one that I'm gonna use is by NYX. And this one is close to my skin tone also. It's a little bit dark. And I'm going to go ahead and put this. I'll show you the tone right now. You're gonna see it right away. I put that much. Okay, and then I go ahead and start blending it in. I mix and match sometimes two colors. Usually I put Wet n Wild Pro, but today I'm gonna put this one because it seems to be a really good combination too. I also have to be another one from the Dollar Tree that's a BB cream one. I love it a lot too, but I'm run, I ran out, I need to go get some more. So I'm gonna go 
working with this one right now. And then I just make sure I put in that cover, in that trouble area. And I just try and make sure. I think that's a bunch of wiggles so I can continue to blot. Okay, so. And I don't waste any product. So as you can tell, the foundation is pretty good. The coverage to that what I had is pretty good. It's not that bad right now. It's improved. So the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get out the powders and the stuff that I use for my face. And I have this one right here, which is called Hula. And it's from Benefit that I'm going to go ahead and contour with. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my contour one and one brush. Looks like this, and I love this. I'm just gonna mix it in. And I'm just gonna go ahead, and I have discussed before, I this is how I cover some of the dark spots. Try not to overdo it like that. Right now, I am just contouring. And then I'm gonna go down here with the chin. As always, and I think we're done. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more, and there it is the contour. And since it, 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 it grabs pretty fast for me, so the next one that I'm going to be using is I don't recall where I get the, I got this one from. It's a contour palette. It looks like this, and I'm going to go ahead and use this lighter shade in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and contour contour and there we go excuse the honking so one of my neighbors loves to honk in the morning so I don't understand why it's every day you know same time it's just like you would think this person would get it but there we go I have contour I'll put it back away for everyone and then I'm gonna go ahead. I like to do this first. I like to go with my elf. And it looks like that. I have another one, so whatever. I'm going on a trip, so I'm prepared. So this is gonna go out. And I just like to go out. My face tends to get very oily. And this just does wonders for the body. I just put it all over. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put the brush and for blush I'm going to go I got this note brush in Osic Desert Rose and it's just amazing this one's from a uh, one from my box that I my subscription got got box I got right now I'm like half asleep so but anyway it's on my boxy charm with this one I just dab because it a little bit goes a long way and then we just go like that See? And I'm going. I'm going to the speed of how I usually do my makeup. So I make sure it's like that, and then so I'll go ahead and do again. Is yes, I'll go in with the Elf, and this is the perfect finish HD powder in clear. And this stuff is amazing. I love it. I mean, the makeup it, it lasts me quite a bit. I mean, the marks come out a little bit. But nothing that I can say, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. So I'm just going over the area where I put the blush. And this brush is now doing it. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I have it all over. Okay. Then I, what I'm going to do is bake a little bit underneath right here my eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. And my problem areas that I know the makeup tends to come out. And look, it doesn't look like it's coming. It's a lot, but it, it doesn't look like you can tell, but you can really, you can. Okay, the next thing. That we're gonna work on is my eyes so we're gonna go ahead and start the eyes so now that I've done that um, I forgot to tell you I went and got a haircut and um, 
I love how they did it for me straight so I've been doing my hair straight. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to comb through my eyelash eyebrows. So I'm trying to find a little brush. The problem when you have too many brushes when I'm starting out. So imagine I need to, you know the little section is gonna be what? Little by little. And I just comb it out. Okay, and I just comb out my eyebrows just and I try not to do it too marked. And I'm gonna use this Lamar palette and this brown right here that I got from my boxy charm is what I'm gonna be using. And the kind of brush that I usually like to get is a thin one, and I'm looking for it. And I have it separated all of them, but you know how we are in the mornings. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this one, Lamar also. And these were from a boxy charm. So I'm gonna dip it in here. Again, this shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it lightly. And I just follow, just go up, just, I just follow the line to my eyebrows. And I hope you can see that, that's the best that I can do. And when I do my eyebrows, I try and do it with my glasses sometimes if I can but if I can't that's okay too and I can't right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and filter in more right here okay now that I got the front of it I'll work towards the back so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back let me go to quiet so I can work on this quickly because I'm getting ready to go to work okay It's coming out pretty good. Usually, sometimes they struggle a little bit faster. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just like the outline at the bottom over here. So I do that. I'll go ahead and go the other one. And I have a lot of eyebrows and I'm like really happy they're growing. Um, they fell out due to a treatment that I was taking for the lupus. But you know what, and honestly, I, I'm not gonna complain. I'd rather it be my eyebrows than my hair because last year I had to chop off my hair from so much hair fall, hair fall out. And it was, you know, nothing that we, I could do to control it. I just had to take, it, it had to take its course. Um, thank the Lord. I found this specialist who really helped me out, told me, you know what, cut your hair. Um, it, was, it wasn't falling from the root, it was calling, falling like from here down. And so I did cut it, and I cut up to here. I'll show, if I can find some pictures, I'll post up to here. And um, I've always wanted to have my hair super long, and I've never been able to, for one reason or the other, either it doesn't grow, or I'm not sure, but. Okay, so they look a little uneven, so what I'm gonna go ahead and going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this palette from Revolution. And as you can tell, I've been using this color a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself a brush and I'm gonna get this cute brush right here. And I'm just gonna blend it in there and I'm just going to highlight, clean up, as much as I can, and then let me, at the same time I'm prepping. And I like my, I like my eyebrows to my my this part of my eye, my eyelid, to not be so dark, so that the for it to be the same color, so that it all can you know come out nicely. So I am just going and then fixing what I can in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the, eye, with the eyebrow again. So now that I have this dark color, I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to go in with this little red right there. And I just dab it a little. And I'm just going to follow the shade. The shade that I created. And it's just a little bit so I can like lighten up a little bit. 
I was, this was a suggestion from a good friend of mine who does makeup amazing. He is amazing. I, as soon as I can con him into coming to my channel, he will be coming to my channel. He has promised me. And there we go. And I just love how it looks like this. And then I just put this away and gently again carefully I'm gonna go in again and I'm just gonna gently make sure I'm not overdoing anything. And I need to go a little bit with the dark one again because I just messed it up. I did the dark shades a little bit here just to make sure the color is right there. The front of it. So I've done that and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side. And we can go into the eyeshadow now. So that is done, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and make sure I spread out all this so I won't forget. Okay, and go like that. I think the blush is perfect, so I'm not gonna put any more. I'm gonna put that brush away. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is the eye, eyeshadow. And for the eyeshadow, I do it differently. I'm going to be going in with the, I love this color, and I probably could end up in this just because of the shade. I'm just gonna go in forward. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it as complicated as possible. I go in like that, see, well, pretty. And then I'll go ahead and go in with this one over here. And so they're both there. And that's how I do my, the, the bottom part. Let me show you what I do. How I combine. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner lid. And I'm going to be going in with these two colors right here. So I go ahead and get myself another little brush. And I know I can use and see there. The good thing of having many brushes. This one is amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna start off with, with the Honey Bright, which is this one right here, the lighter one right there. And I'm gonna put it in the inner crease. And I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna go to the other side and do that as well. This is when I go to work, how I do it. I work a little faster than when I'm just, you know, videotaping. And I'm gonna go ahead now with a with the beast eat beast which is this one right here and it comes out really nicely <clears throat> and then I have allergies and I do use eyeliner but I find that when I wear eyeliner to work when I have allergies it's it's bad for me and I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade of here and this, I love this color so Nice and soft. I'm going to go like that. Again, this is for work, so you want like a light. And that's how I'm gonna do my eyeshadow today. It looks like this. It might look simple to some of you, <clears throat> but I love it. The next one that I, I'm going to use is from this um, Beauty Creations Cali set, and these are the shades that are in here. And I'm gonna use this red one right there. And that one is called Valley Girl, or Free Girl. And I'm just gonna, if it can pop out a little bit more, the red does it really nice right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just lightly. And that is it. The eyeshadow is done. Then I leave the eyebrow, I need I leave the eye mascara for the last. I'm gonna go in with this awesome. Island Paradise Cara Beauty Palette of Highlights and I am going to be using this brush right here and I'm going to be going in with the yellow and the orange. So I start off with the orange and in the mornings I have a hard time so I like to look at the side where I can see it. And I'm planning to get some red lights to help me out in the mornings. Like I, this custom I previously knew I have a little bit of issue with the vision. I'll put it over here and here in the corners. And then I'll go ahead and go in with the orange. Like that. And I'll go ahead and go with the orange over here like that. And then I'll 
do the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna go ahead with the yellow and then the orange like that. And then I'll put in the bow and the bows. Like so. I love it. And that's what I do for highlight. The next thing that I will do is I will go ahead and go ahead and get my NYX spray, take the glasses and put them to the side, and I will go ahead and spray away. And I'll let it just dry on its own. I don't curl my lashes just to protect them, so what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using this really, this, um, Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara and this mascara is amazing and I got this from a giveaway from Miss Giggles. Giggles, thank you very much. If you're watching, I want to tell you thank you. Where did I put my glasses? Oh, okay, they're right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a coating of mascara and I go in lightly. I go in very lightly. I'm going to show you right now. I have them pretty long. But I'm careful when I'm putting them on. The, I uh, putting them on. I don't want to like overdo and putting putting too much on and clean my mirror. I don't know how it is. I was dirty in my mirror. <sighs> okay, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in again with the other side. Just gently put them in. Thank you. This is how how it works for me. So I've done that when I go to the bottom. Can I see something there? I'm gonna go ahead and use the other side, the bottom. All right, while that's happening, I'm gonna go grab my purse and grab my lipstick. Let's put it on. Start with the pencil liner. And then put it on and out. A video will be coming up about this lipstick, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Give it a look. Alright, here we go. And it try to behind the whole lip. For me, this is what makes me or breaks me with the lipsticks. And I try to use lip liner always. Okay, okay so I'll put it here. Outline it. There it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go with the shade. And it is a beautiful shade. Look at that. So now that the mascara dried up again, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the mascara one more time. Just the top lids. The bottom is just a little bit to give it a little bit, mm, not too much. And I just go like this. And this mascara is great. I also have the It Cosmetics mascara and I will be posting that pretty soon on how it works for me. And I'll let you know which one I prefer. And I'm gonna go ahead with the other side. For some reason, I always have one side better than the other. I think that's because this is my sick eye. When I say sick eyes, I have a cornea transplant and on my left eye, and I, and I struggled quite a bit to get it to, to work. So there you have it. I'm done with the makeup. I'm gonna be rushing out to work. I like to end it with my wonderful Bath and Body Works. So I'll spritz some on. And I wanna thank you all for watching. You all have a great day. And let me show you the final product. And this is with my hair straight. I haven't straightened my hair like in years. But there's the final product. I wanna thank you all for watching. You have a good, great time. Bye.